For this video, I thought I would show this filament welder. This is a pretty simplistic uh, welder with just a few printed parts and then using common other items uh, from a 3D printer uh, with PTFE tube and uh, some of the bed springs actually uh, there in the center, which I'll explain. And I'll have uh, more information and links uh, in the video description if you're interested to check out more. All right, you can see here that I've actually got uh, two spools of filament and one uh, partial that's almost down to the end, but uh, want to go ahead and fuse it with this uh, brand new roll. And then I'll just be able to load it all up for my next uh, print project. So it's pretty simple. You just got to get uh, both uh, filament ends into the PTFE tube uh, that you want to be able to weld and fuse together and kind of make sure as best as you can that they're kind of touching uh, together in the center. And of course, to weld filament together, we're going to need some heat. Uh, so this is another good use of a heat gun with your uh, 3D printing projects. You can see I've got the uh, bed springs uh, in the center of the tube uh, spread out to the end so that just part of the tube is uh, open there in the middle. Now this was actually just for illustration with the heat gun. Uh, I had already had it on uh, full heat uh, for a longer period of time to get the fuse uh, together, which you can actually see uh, the part of the filament here that's uh, darker uh, in color and uh, it's actually really smooth uh, to the touch compared to the uh, rest of the filament. This is carbon fiber, so it's got kind of a little bit of a rough texture, but you can definitely see there where it welded together, fused together from inside the PTFE tube. Uh, safety reminder uh, to make sure that uh, your workstation's clear and, and what's behind the heat gun uh, when you're using uh, that much heat. The springs help uh, actually keep the PTFE tube uh, in shape as well uh, during the heating process and, and then cooling back down. So uh, there's information about that uh, with the model uh, of the designer of this uh, welder machine. So, or not machine, but uh, jig. All right, now that I've got the filament welded together, I've gotten the remnant uh, from the spool that was almost finished uh, taken off here, as you can see. And now it's time to just uh, wind it up onto uh, the rest of the full spool. Uh, I'm gonna do that manually off camera and then uh, now I can show you that I've got this brand new roll with the extra from that uh, remnant spool that's been fused and welded together. And you can see there where the weld actually is from wrapping it up around. And because I did it manually, my wind isn't that great, but it it's sufficient. Um, I've got it kind of just hooked in place there uh, until I get it loaded up on the machine. But um, overall, it's a pretty good way to uh, use up uh, the last bit of filament from some spools and get it all on one. All right, now it's time to get it loaded up here on the Ender 5 Plus. Get reach back there on the spool holder. There we go. And I've got the hot end warming up so that we can get it loaded into the machine. All right, the filament loading's in process. I'm not going to bore you on this video uh, to show you this again. I actually already have a video showing uh, loading up the filament on this machine. So there's a link uh, to that, uh, or you can check out uh, my channel to find that. But Again, there's uh, all the information about the filament welder in the video description. Thank you for watching.